In the Dead Poet Society, Robin Williams whispers, if you listen real close, you can hear them whisper their legacy to you. Go on, lean in, listen. You hear it. Carpe, carpe diem. Seize the day, boys. Make your lives extraordinary. Continuing our conversation on his own extraordinary journey with Amal Parikh of Om Securities. Amal, welcome back. We Thank talked you. about uh, making lots of money in Dalmia Bharat. Tell me something when you had mud on your face. So, uh, I invested... I, I had a lot of uh, bad companies also in, in the portfolio. One of them was, uh, uh, is still there, uh, Dish TV. So I invested when, when the company had a debt of 2,200 uh, crores. Uh, today they have zero debt. They have repaid the debt. But because of uh, uh, promoter uh, doing a uh, over leverage in their other businesses. Corporate governance. Yeah, and they had to uh, pledge this equity and uh, I think uh, the issue is in the court right now. But it's very painful for the minority investor. So, uh, yeah. It uh, bothers you. It bothers me because a lot of uh, my friends' family has also invested uh, in, in Dish TV. Yeah, but so, they've written a lot of winners, so they're okay. But Amal, let's stick to the topic of money and let's stick to winning. Uh, rumor has it, Rumor has it that you're a dollar billionaire. Is that true? <laughs> so, I never calculate my wealth. Uh, really? My you want to tell Viral not, that? <laughs> my wife does not know my uh, wealth. And, uh, yeah, but uh, I would, I would uh, say in uh, one, one line what uh, Rakesh Bia always used to say, I have far more money than I need and I have far less than people think. But what impresses me about you, Amal, is that I've known you for a number of years now. Uh, I know in 2008, you were one among the largest taxpayers in this country, you were honored, so. But I've seen you transform yourself from a computer operator to a broker liaison, to a trader, to investor, to, as I call you, a player in the uh, stock market. But you're still not happy. You also want to do overseas investing. What is that bug? Yeah, so in 2008, uh, when I was sitting on 80% cash, uh, I realized that uh, uh, I've, I've lost 30% of my wealth because I always calculate my wealth in dollar. And uh, that is where I realized that uh, without any of my mistake, I've lost 30% of because my wealth. Because the rupee depreciated. Absolutely. Rupee, uh, rupee depreciated 30% and uh, that, that actually bothered me. I started uh, looking at global markets uh, reading books, uh, reading more about uh, what actually happened uh, in US, what was the crisis, and uh, uh, looking at currencies, how the currency trades. And I felt that uh, I should uh, start uh, uh, trading over there. So, uh, obviously, early, early years, we used to do a paper trading, uh, you know, and and uh, uh, and then I thought that uh, it's it's the same. Trading is everywhere. It's same. Uh, obviously, it takes a lot of time because uh, currency markets and global markets are always 24 open. by seven. Absolutely. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that is where uh, uh, I moved for like uh, two three years to Dubai to uh, trade uh, uh, global markets. Tell me a trade that stands out in that. Uh... Period. Okay, there uh, I traded in uh, Japanese yen and uh, I bought some uh, call uh, which which was a 10 cents to a dollar. Pretty much what they did in the global financial crisis, John Paulson buying these out of the money uh, yeah. put options. Absolutely. Uh, I bought a call options uh, on, on uh, uh, dollar yen and it On went... saying what the dollar would, uh, yen would go up? So yen will depreciate. Yen will depreciate, yes. okay. And uh, typically, it uh, uh, depreciated a lot. And my 10 cents uh, uh, went up to 20 bucks. I sold it around 17 bucks. Amal, you're 50. You've already accomplished a lot. What's in it for the next 10 years for you? What, what are you looking forward to? What wakes you up at night? So, uh, I want to, I've, I've invested my five to six years uh, in a algo trading. Uh, uh, some of the, some of the, Strategies are always uh, already live, and uh, I want to be a great algo <laughs> trader. I've given, uh, I have uh, uh, trading skills. I have experience of like 25 years of trading, 
and I have a knowledge of technology. What so by technology dying that, you put that in a formula and the formula executes the trade for you. Absolutely. But the formula is the brains behind it. Absolutely. And you think this can uh, outperform active investing over a period of time? A hundred percent. It, it can't uh, outperform in a big way, but uh, uh, I think I can uh, see a lot of uh, asset class. Today, sitting in India, I can't see uh, all the asset class. As I said, it's the, the Japanese and the Thai baht, the you know Absolutely. Angolan currency, whatever. I, I that that's uh, the change. What I want to have it uh, sitting in India, sitting uh, only investing in India. I can trade all this market through my algo. That's that's the uh, idea. You know, Amal, uh, part of our show is not only doing algo, but also doing a rapid fire round. Okay, sure. so are you ready for a rapid fire Absolutely. round? Absolutely. Okay, great. Let's get you started. Uh, a promoter you admire the most? The Free most. Cement. Uh, Mr. Bangat. Yes. Any particular reason? I think the uh, the the promoter gives uh, <laughs> everything what he does, everything in uh, their annual report. So if you read their annual report, it's amazing. Transparency. Absolutely. A Wall Street personality that you admire the most? George Soros. If you could invite any three people home for dinner, I know you don't drink, so I would say you're not going to go to a bar, <laughs> but you can invite three people to drink. For dinner, who would they be? I think uh, 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 Mr. Modi. Prime Minister? Yes. Okay. Uh, George Soros. <laughs> okay. And uh, Warren Buffett. Really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, one thing that you learned from Rakesh Junjunwala? Buy and hold. Amal, you have three lovely young children, I know. Uh, Rith, Ashi, and Dhrava, two daughters and a son. If they came to you, uh, Baba, tell us something about markets that we should remember the rest of our lives. What would that be? I would uh, say that uh, invest in equity, 100%. And uh, if you don't know the market, invest through uh, SIP in a mutual fund. Okay. Uh, what would you rather do? Would you rather read a screen or would you rather read a balance sheet today? My heart says to see the screen, but my uh, size of uh, portfolio tells me to see the balance sheet. So I'm focusing more on balance <coughs> sheet since last three years. But my, if you ask my heart, it always says a screen. So more fundamentals, less technicals, though your heart is in technicals. Correct. Correct. Fair enough. Uh, would your heart be spending a weekend in the Hamptons in America or a weekend in Alibagh? Hampton of India in Alibaba. <laughs> okay, <laughs> well said. Uh, I want to f ask your opinion on uh, the following asset classes. What do you think they will be over a period of one year, let's say? The Sensex, higher or lower? Higher. Uh, oil, higher or lower? Lower. Uh, Tesla, higher or lower? Higher. Bitcoin, higher or lower? Lower. China, higher or lower? Higher. Dow Jones, higher or lower? Higher. That's pretty much a bull market you're making, a case for Absolutely. a bull market continuing, Amal. Always bull, sir. Shakespeare put it best. There's a tide in the affairs of men, which taken at the flood leads to fortune. Amal, you've clearly navigated well. The winds, tide, and the turbulence of the last street. Thank you, happy birthday, and thank you for being a part of Wizards. Thank you so much, Ramesh ji. Thank you so much.